Hey y'all, so today's a special, special day here in Cleveland. Uh, what's up, Kamani? I am here with the incomparable, the one and only, Mr. Beyond Win. City life, what's happening? So we wanted to come and share a couple of things with you guys today. So we've, we've joined forces, if you don't know, we're both real estate investors here in the Cleveland area. Um, and hey, Carol, what's going on? Johnny, JB, what's happening? So yeah, we both are investors here in the area. Beyond has been in the game even longer than I have, um, but we are both uh, super passionate about the city of Cleveland, the people of Cleveland, and also about helping to educate others, the outsiders, about um, the jewel that we have here in the city. And so we got a couple of things that we wanted to um, combine together and kind of share with you guys. So uh, what's the name of this place? I don't even know where we at. This is uh, Andreas Dakar Wine. I always call it the Cigar Bar in East Cleveland. Okay. So black owned business? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we supporting black owned businesses or whatever, you know, walking the talk, so to speak. Um, so what's up, D? What's going on? So. Um, Beyond actually has some great news that uh, he wants to share with you. And then after that, we got a little surprise that we're going to uh, drop for you. So. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody chose to have a great day today because it's your choice. And if greatness is on the menu, why would you choose anything else? Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Second book, Quotes and Confirmations, second edition is available now on Amazon.com. Uh, just finished it up a few weeks ago. Kind of excited about it. You know, when you when you think about writing a book, you put, it's like you put so much thought into thinking that it's, it's harder than what it is. And, it's, and it's, it's not, it's not hard at all. And always buying books, I'm an avid reader, always going on Amazon buying buying books then to actually go on Amazon and see my book it's a it's a great accomplishment for me you know I'm super excited about it yeah super excited about that <laughs> <laughs> so somebody guess, that's Ebony she said I just ordered yesterday I just I, ordered mine yesterday that's Ebony shout out to Ebony from EXP Realty or what have you what's up Ebony I appreciate you <laughs> thanks in advance uh, you know, together we all win. That's mm -hmm. just not my uh, hashtag on IG because it's cute, but I embody that. Together we all win, mm -hmm. period. When when we support each other, like we, you know, support people that we don't know, we all do it. Mm -hmm. You know, we go to all the arenas all around the world, whether it's NFL, NBA, you know, concerts, all of that's great. But we need to start supporting each other. It's simple, you know. We're, Everything that's going on in the world that we don't like, we are the solution for it. Mm -hmm. We have the tools to counter all the things that we don't like. And, and basically, there's only one thing that needs to happen in order for us to counter everything that's happening that we don't like. It's us working together, us collaborating mm -hmm. together, us circulating our dollar together. That's how you counter everything else because when we work together collectively, like all other races, people hear us loud and clear. We, it, it's no need to march when people know that we gonna roll together no matter what. Like the bumblebee. Think about the bumblebee, right? You go over there and mess with that hive, right? You you mess with that hive, one bee come out, you know, to kind of check it out, and then they all on you. It's a wrap, and then they chasing you for a mile till you find this, the the closest swimming pool to jump in, but they, they all roll together. And that's the same way we need to roll. We we all need to roll together. So the book is is all quotes that I came up with. You know, most of the books that I read were quotes, and people quoting other people. That's cool, but I decided to use my own brain, you know, use the things that God equipped me with to share my, share my insight and a fragment of, you know, my brain and how I see the world and different things I think about to help me uh, move through the day, move through turbulence, move through, you know, trials and tribulations. And so it's basically challenging 
people to think outside the box, even if it is a box. I don't know if it's, it's a box or not, but just challenge you to, to look at things different, not how somebody told us to look at it, not what we've been taught, but look at things different. Start paying attention to how you feel. Like, how do you feel about certain things, regardless of how the rest of the world feel? How do you feel? What do you think the, the, the best route for, for you to go in? Not what somebody else said. Example, quick example. I was just at, at Kinko's laminating some dollar bills. And when I went to the register, they, they asked, can they help me? So I went to the register, I told them, I want, I want to laminate, I want to laminate 100 singles. You know, I got these nice little quotes on them. So I said, I want to laminate. They was like, that's not gonna work. The, the, the ink is gonna bleed over the money and it's gonna turn black. It's not gonna work. The manager and the employee, they both said, no, that's not gonna work. I basically said, let me, how much do it cost? Let me, let me do it. It's like, when God give me a vision, I move, period. E even if it's wrong, I'm gonna do it. That's, that's how I have to do it. I can't, I'm not listening to the crowd telling me that it won't work. Because what I know is if you follow that thing inside of you, if you pick up, you, if you answer the call, you know, God calling you, you're not answering, but you're looking for blessings and opportunities, but you're not picking up the call. The call is that thing that you feel inside of you that won't go away, but you keep ignoring it because you feel like you have to put too much work in to do it. You feel like the society is gonna say, you ain't get it right the first time, so they're gonna laugh at you. That's answering the call. Answer the call and figure the rest out. You don't need all of the details. You don't need to be smart. God put you in the game for a reason, AKA coach. Coach put you in the game for a reason. You ever seen a coach put a player in the game to help them lose the game? No, coach put you in the game because coach equipped you with all the tools necessary to win at the game of life. So that's just a little bit of uh, how I think, but I share a lot of those things right here. That's, like the, <laughs> that's the short version. So uh, tell them again where they can get the book. You could get the book on Amazon.com. The link is in my bio, my uh, my IG bio at Beyond Win. The link is there. You can get it right there. Amazon.com. Book signing Saturday. This Saturday, I just came up with that today. I I, I just like to move. Coach right, Mike we put was me at in the game. And I asked yeah, him about so, <laughs> yeah. So the book signing is this Saturday. This Saturday at the Perfect Stop, two eight two seven two Sharton Road. This Saturday, this Saturday, 2 to 4 p.m., 28272 Chardon Road. Book signing. This Saturday, 2 to 4 p.m., the perfect stop, 28272 Chardon Road. Come out, get an autographed copy. Or if you're not in Cleveland, go to Amazon.com, click or click the link in my bio, grab your copy. Thanks, advance. <laughs> Thanks in advance for your support. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in the city, um, that's that's what we're doing this Saturday. So make sure you come out and support. I love um, books like that because I'm big on affirmations. Okay. And I like I was just I got my copy this morning and I was kind of just skimming through it and I was these are they remind me uh, of affirmations. It reminds me of something that you need to say to yourself and to repeat to yourself so that you are rehearsing it to your subconscious ask yourself does this make sense and sense that needs That's to be favorite. something that replays over and over you know in your mind and in your spirit that's one of my favorites it's like when you when you in life uh it's not that we're not equipped to 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 reach our our goals and, and our dreams it's we're distracted we're distracted. I call it the trillion dollar distraction industry. So something that'll help you stay on track real quick, ask yourself when that friend calls and the friend don't line up with multiplying and adding value in your life, ask yourself, do this make sense? S-E-N-S-E -E or C-E-N-T-S? When the whole crew going to South Beach for, for Labor Day, ask yourself, do it make sense? Is that part of your plan? Did you reach your goals for that week? Did you reach your goals for that month? Actually, do it make sense? Certain relationships in your life, ask yourself, do this make sense? 
So that's one of my favorites. Happy will attract things that sad can't. Woo! That's, <laughs> that's deep. So that means it ain't about nobody else. It's really about you and the energy that you are putting out into the world. Period. Ooh! You Everything mean I got to take energy. accountability for my own for what I'm putting out. It I is. can't blame everybody else. That's a losing game. Y'all need to make sure y'all get this. This is real, like for real. And I'm hard on books because I'm a I'm a book lover. I've only skimmed it and it's it's good stuff. So make sure that you um go follow and support that and pull up at the uh, book signing if you're here in Cleveland. Um, so another thing that we wanted to to kind of touch on is as we said, we both invest here. Uh, in Cleveland in a lot of the same areas and a lot of the same uh, parts of the city and so what we've noticed um, is that there Cleveland has become super popular right which is which is great everybody is kind of now uh, tuning in and tapping into the opportunities that are here as far as investing and you know the real estate market and things of that nature but what we've also noticed is a trend of not properly or adequately educating yourself and not being in a position to do the proper um, due diligence because you are not in Cleveland because you don't know anything about Cleveland because uh, you're listening to what other people are saying about Cleveland and so uh, I mean we literally thought we had a conversation of you know what is the solution to that how can we help people see uh, again see the value acknowledge the value in the city but but responsibly take advantage of that and not from a wholesaling perspective i mean people send us both deals all the time and it's just like we was just talking about you know a, a deal that somebody sent them and it's just like if you were here or had any connections with anybody here or knew anything about the city you would you know a lot of these deals and things like that that you're sending it's just not it's 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 not making sense, okay? And so, again, how can we help people to learn about the great city of Cleveland and to, to be able to do good business because they have a solid foundation in terms of their knowledge and also in terms of their network, of their resources? There's no way that you can do business in the city and not connect with other people who are doing business in that same city. It just, it, it doesn't make sense from a business perspective, but to going back to the whole collaborating and working together. If you wanna do business in Cleveland and you see us doing business in Cleveland, it only makes sense <laughs> to reach out and to try and to, to connect with us. And so, um, you know, again, we came up with sort of a solution to that problem we want to be able to offer people again some insight into the city to the layout to the makeup of the city what to expect socially what to you know from a culture perspective once you go to this town i was just riding through the little asian uh sect of, of cleveland who would uh, you would know that we have like a little chinatown korean little area in cleveland if you weren't from here or you know had traveled and and been in these areas um, of cleveland so again how can we give the insight into that <clears throat> how can we also share um i don't know about you but people are always hitting me up asking me about contractors and do you know somebody to do this and do you know somebody to do that and uh, it gets it gets hard, you know, trying to make referrals and doing this and doing that, and also about property uh, valuations. People are buying properties um, in Cleveland and they are not aware of the true value of those properties. Okay, you know, if I'm buying in, you know, the Mount Pleasant area or Kingsman, Buckeye, East Cleveland, where you're buying, uh, you need to know uh, the the property values in these different areas of of the city. What better way to, to learn about that and to understand that from it than from, again, people who have been um, operating in this market for some time. And then also, most importantly, deals, right? Both of us are always on the hunt for deals for ourselves, but not only for ourselves, because of um, how we how both of us make relationships a priority. We are all we are both connected to people who are also always looking for deals. So we're shopping for ourselves as well as other people as well. So again, how can we use that to basically help those of you who are in the city uh, and want to know more about you know how you can start to move around in the real estate market, but also for those of you who are outside of the city and again are either um, investing from a wholesaling perspective or either you know trying to buy and hold and build your 
portfolio because you've heard about the great returns or whatever the case may be we want to be a resource and a source so that you can get the uh correct picture and the a realistic picture of the city of cleveland and what it has to offer you so the solution that we can't you know we both geniuses right so the solution that we came up with is you want to tell them no you talk <laughs> We came up with the solution of, I know some of you may be familiar with Beyond and his meetup, but what we came up with is, is we started a private group chat. It's called the Together We All Win private group chat, right? And what it's going to be is, is, is exactly what it's called. It's going to be a private group chat off of Instagram, out of the DMs, out of the emails, off the phone, because I'm not doing no kind of, are you still doing kind of calls? Yeah, I'm still doing. Okay, I'm so still I, don't, doing. I don't do that anymore. So off the phone, whatever the case may be, this is going to be the one place where you can come. Again, if you are in the city, if you're outside of the city, and you want to know again what's really going on in this in the city of Cleveland from the the politics. Uh, we were just talking about how we want to support uh, Bashir Councilman Bashir Jones in War Seven. Again, if you're not from Cleveland, you might not know who Bashir Jones is. But if you're investing in Cleveland, you need to know who he is and you know the ward that he represents. Again, from a property analysis perspective, how do you analyze properties in Cleveland? What are you know? What should you be paying? What should a rehab look like? Uh, the, again, the referrals, the connects. You know, being able to be uh, connected to some of the people that we work with and do business with. Um, and also, again, like we said, deals. We're always looking for deals. We're always, you know, people hit me up left and right about buying deals in Cleveland. So this is just one central place where we can talk about all things Cleveland. So again, in uh, people who are in state or in city, as well as people who are outside of Cleveland. Before you invest anywhere in anything, you need to properly educate yourself on that market, on that